So last week, I probably had the most ridiculous experience of my life. It was at the Switzerland Museum of Electronic Music. It was to the point that me and Johnny actually uh, somehow lost the first 10 to 15 minutes worth of footage and the introduction because we were just so excited and overwhelmed. So let's just get stuck in after that point. I've got one at home, but I mean, it kind of looks a bit insignificant in this room. <laughs> They've got all of the Russian synthesizers as well. And then Sonic Mirage with the boot disc. Beautiful. I'm gonna plop that back in. The thing is, is on the website, it's promised to say that there are things you will have probably never seen before. And that is a fact because I don't think I've ever seen the CR8 Computer Band 2000. It is mental looking. Look at the amount of Kurtz files. Look at the size of this MIDI board. Look how old school that is. Oh, and it just keeps on going. What is this beautiful machine? Look at this, look at this. Something that would be sat in your granddad's smoking room. <laughs> He's like, go away, I'm playing on my synthesizer. My electronics, musical laboratory, synkey synthesizer. It's even just got the classics, the OB-8, which weighs a goddamn ton. Turn around, turn around. <laughs> oh, Synclavia. Just look how beautiful that is. Oh, it smells like, it smells a bit strange. How many people do you know who have four filler cordias? And then who can forget Ferris Bueller's Day Out? <laughs> Look at this Watkins, the Watkins Nightshade. I've got to the point where it's just not that surprising anymore that I'm gonna be surprised that there's two, two wasps sitting around. There's a plenty of Saturn 09s. What the heck is that? MIDI expander, I've got no idea. Oh, we're getting into Roland territory now. One, two, three, four. What's that? Oh no, five Junos, of course. A six Junos. <laughs> it just keeps on coming. Oh, these things. They keep on popping up on eBay. But lo and behold, imagine if this place had an eBay sale. The world would end. The world would end. You absolute beauty. <sighs> Come here. This is mad. So they've got a Jupiter 4, they've got a Jupiter 6, and a Jupiter 8. Of course, like, it would be, it would be ridiculous to not suggest that there's not all of the Jupiters just sitting, chilling out. Oh, oh man, Krumar Trilogy. Ooh, Astratus, that's pretty funky. Ooh, never seen that in my life, but that's a, that seems to be a running trend in here. <laughs> Whoa, look at the beautiful buttons on that thing. Sorry, I'm making a lot of noises and groans because I feel like a kid in a candy shop, like... Whoa, one sec. Two memory mokes. Two memory mokes. Two poly mokes. That is mad. A moog opus. This is like a dream machine. An actual proper memory mode. Just sitting, chilling out. Two memory mokes. Just sitting there, like it was nothing. Whoa. Whoa. Chill out, Vangelis. Well, I don't know what I'm doing here. There's a lot of knobs on here. I've never played one of these before. It's a little bit overwhelming. Oh, no. Woo! It's pretty awesome. That is the most complicated organ machine I've ever played on. It's even got the preset section the same as the CS80. So if you're like in church and you're like, I'm gonna go and get some presets going. I wonder who programmed these presets. Oh, Vangelis, you've made it sound so amazing with these presets. Thank you very much, Vangelis. What haven't they got? I mean, just look over here. What haven't they got? This is a dream. Oh, I am so happy to see you. Give me a hug. So now we're in the Korg area and immediately we can see a beautiful machine to behold. Oh my God, I've never seen one in real life. How this exists in a room is beyond me. This is mental. Poly 600s, there's monopolies, there's all the, oh my God. Have you come here? What kind of place would have free, free cork tridents? These things nowadays are worth about three maybe nearly 4,000 pounds. They've got three of them just, just chilling out, sitting around. That is mental. They just keep on coming, like there's hundreds of corks. All of the eras of corks. Oh my gosh. I don't know what this is, 
but I like it. <clears throat> the Pulsar. Ever seen that? I haven't. <laughs> That's mental. And then, oh, there's more. Obviously, there's more. I'm not surprised anymore. Of course, the Holy Grail. Dude, that's totally excellent. I'll put some guitar over that. <laughs> They've even got guitars, of course. Is this a guitar synth or is this just an awesome looking... No. Check out this. What is this? An effector. But it's got built-in effects. Of course, you wouldn't have just a normal guitar in here. And then of course, let's not be surprised anymore, there is one of another holy grails like many of these, the Elka Synfix. I don't believe it. Le Guide Chant Casreel. They have every conceivable possible thing. No synthesizer museum would be complete without a Yamaha DJX. Seriously, DJ, DJ, bump it, DJ. Oh, that is so good. There's a mountain of organs. They've even got a miniature version. But it just keeps on going. Just keeps on going. Oh, of course, lots of pillows. Every synthesizer museum needs a, a large amount of pillows. But looking around the back, you've got the classics, you've got the Atari, 1040s, 520 STs, you've got some Macintosh SEs. I don't know what these things are, but you know, it's not just synthesizers. Of course, top loading Betamax machines, VHSs, that machines, you name it, it's probably here. Actually, Johnny, go on, name a synthesizer and I'll have to find it. I wonder if they got my favourite synthesizer. What's your favourite synthesizer? The Yamaha CS10. I don't know, I haven't seen one. Let's go and find it. Let's go to the Yamaha bit. Where is the Yamaha bit? It's a Yamaha. Around here. I think we completely missed the Yamaha section. How many DX7s? Three. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six DX7s. No, seven DX7s. Seven. Eight DX7s. How many DX7s do you need? I don't think there is a CS10 here. Hey! I think this might be a CS15. So they've got better than a CS10, they've got a CS15. <laughs> a CS30, the one with the built-in sequencer. As you can see, it's got a, uh, it's pretty mad. It's got two, basically two synthesizers and a sequencer, all in a nice elongated box. I cannot stress to you enough how many there are. So that's basically the room, you know. You know, that's basically the room. Why are you standing over there? Because it continues here. Are all the drum machines. What are you saying it keeps on going? It keeps on going and there are even more synths in the back. I didn't even look around that corner. I thought it was just this. I thought we were near the end of it. <laughs> what the heck is that? This is bad. This is just mental. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm ready. <gasps> Look at that screen! Actually, it's funny, every time I come there is new stuff. Is like, there? Uh, and uh, I was looking for my favourite synth and I can't find it. There's another fill accordion! That's five fill accordions just sitting around. Like, what is all of this stuff? Look at these! Look at this tape machine! M M M M3 tape machine! Just look at how mad that is! I just gotta say, like... <laughs> this is mad! 90% of all the things in this room were collected by one person and we started with this collection. He's called Clement Strenkle and he's like obsessed uh, collectioner. Yeah. really amazing and every time he comes by he brings new stuff. He brings new stuff? Yes, and, but now we have <coughs> also a lot of other people who, who give things and now yeah. we're also looking for the missing Links. parts. Yeah, or everything that is missing. Thank you very much Clemens for your obsession because this is the best room I think I've ever been in. This is just making me cry. I can't cry on cue. Just look at this. So this is the immense amount of echo boxes, space echoes. You've got all of the magnitudes of echo chords and like just, oh, it's mad. So we're in the drum machine section now and I've already been hit with a drum machine that I don't think I've ever seen before. The Rattlesnake, I guess it sounds like Man, a Dynacord Ad 1, that is mad. 
You know, we're gonna be here forever if we do, if we look at every single one. You name it, it's probably here. So we're getting into the Korg analog drum machines. Just what is going on? SP12. Wait a second. More like SP24. <laughs> That's mad. I just don't understand how many drumulators. Look, one, two, three, four, five. Five drumulators and the performance pads. Oh, an MPC 60. Oh, we're getting out something. No, I, I, I found <laughs> something myself that I haven't seen before. Oh, an old Binson. Binson, a cool. Oh, that's but amazing. This one I've never seen actually. Look at the tape heads spinning around on the. Look around behind you. Look at the sheer mass. <laughs> it doesn't get old. It just doesn't. It won't. It will get old. Oh, oh, a classic, a beautiful classic, the Roland MC303 groove box. Free 303 groove boxes. Wait a sec, of course, with the true style of this place, not just 1808, but 2808, 2808, a 909, CR68, CR78s. And then this was the first Roland drum machine. There's too many to pull out. I was going to pull one out and show you, but it's just like, I can't choose. Look at this! Interchangeable effects pedals. You can change what effects pedals go into this cork box. I didn't even know that existed. Oh, oh, yes! A ridiculously large amount of Boss stomp pedals. It's an original one. Original Phase 90, of course. Just sitting around, chilling out. Oh, oh yes! Oh my god! I've been looking for these for ages. Turn around there! Oh, just a, just a pile. Just a pile of things. There's a space echo just sitting in a pile on the floor. This is amazing. Oh! Really, when, I, when I, a friend called me and I, uh, he told me, come and check out, I, I know a guy, he has a lot of sins. We should do something. And when I went there, I was completely shocked. I mean, I've never seen it was so much stuff like uh, on, on each other. But I guess when your friend said, like, I've got, I know a guy who's got a lot of sims. Yeah, I thought about, you know, you go and there are like 20, if, if it's crazy, 100, but not like 1,000 plus all the effects, all the <laughs> drum machines, all the organs, and all the stuff we didn't take. I mean, he also had a lot of, like, I don't know how many drum sets like maybe 80 drums kits and he had like i don't know uh, marching band equipment for several marching really? bands this band's amazing yes i've just been leaning on a moog source i just was like there's no furniture the furniture are the synthesizers synthesizers check this out a Moog synthesizer amplifier. A Moog synthesizer amplifier. How cool is that? Oh, <laughs> it's more drum machines. I just want to live here. I want to live here. We haven't been down there, have we? What, down here? No, we haven't been down here. There's always these little corners that we haven't been down. You think you're over and then you bump into a fair light. I thought we were done. We were about to just walk out and there's a whole fair light just sitting here. At 1210, that is gold plated. So now I've got a very difficult task of finding a couple of synthesizers to kind of, you know, show you what they sound like. <laughs> it's gonna be tough. Hey. Oh, Jesus. I just want more time to figure it out. Well, I'm gonna have to come back here, that's for sure. I'm gonna try out a memory Moog. I've never played on one of these before, so it's gonna be quite exciting. Hopefully it turns on. Oh.
So the memory moog is basically like six mini moogs sitting inside one box. Eighteen oscillators all on the same note. Got to tune it. That is so cool. <laughs> wow. Oh. It's so cool I get to play on this. Well, we haven't got much time, so I'm afraid off with the Synthex and on to some monophonics. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted by how overwhelmed I am with everything. There's one more final thing that I want to try. I've just had a look around to try and work out what I want to have a go on and it's obviously... So the thing is, is it's, like, it's amazing to be able to play on these machines but a lot of these old ones are a completely different kind of design to most, you know, standard synthesizers. For instance, this has got two oscillators that are just doing crazy things that I don't quite understand as of yet as well as this amazing Traveller which is basically two filters, a low pass filter and a high pass filter just kind of like interlocked. It's insane! So people can actually come to this, like they can come to the playroom, right? Yes, the whole goal of the, uh, of the place is actually to make them accessible and not to be a museum. We put them in the playroom that we can have a look afterwards and that people can come and play. They can rent super cheap time and then they can use the synths. Let's go! Cool. It's the playroom. <laughs> this is on another level. Right, we're just opening the last bag before we run to the playroom because I want to stay in here forever. Ooh, what the heck is that? That is weird. <laughs> I've got to go now, and I really don't want to. I'm going to put my pitch up a tent in the middle. Bye, everybody. Bye, family. Bye. See you later. I'll give you all kisses. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. Got to go. Got to go. <laughs> so this is the playroom part of it. This is where people can come and bring computers to uh, plug into the interfaces to record the audio and, you know, just Play on synthesizers.
So I'm literally just running around and playing on what they have in the playroom at the minute. But it can literally change at any minute. Like they pull in and out different sims at different times, don't you? Since come in and out, uh, sometimes they break, sometimes people actually request sims to come up in the playroom. So we give them a check, repair them and put them up here. And pretty soon we'll have a voting system on the website uh, and people will be able to vote since for, for us to put in the playroom. Like yeah. So if you like simps and you're in Switzerland, I thoroughly recommend checking it out. I need a nap now. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, you just don't even notice it. There's, there's Roland, the amazing Roland vocoder. It's just like... I, the, I'm at that point where I see a, an, a, just another amazing synthesizer piece of history, you know, something that you wouldn't usually see, and it's not that surprising anymore. <laughs> Information on the Switzerland Museum of Electronic Music, SMEM for short, is available on their website, so go and check that out. The link is in the description. Like with nearly every video of mine, there's about 20 minutes of direct synth audio I had captured whilst filming this and playing on all of the synths like the Memory Moog and all that stuff, which is available to download and do what you want with over on my Patreon. So go and check that out. It helps support all of these projects and stuff and go into these places because, you know, it's a lot of petrol. There's a couple of gems in there you know so check it out and yeah don't forget to subscribe hit that bell button if you want to see these videos when they come out and like always i've been little mum no computer and don't be scared to try it